In this video, we're going to talk about operators, expressions, and statements. If I can make an, a quick equation of what, what I mean by operators, expressions, and statements, uh, if you think back to uh, your literary or English classes where you had to parse out sentences and you'd have your nouns and you'd have your verbs and you'd have your adverbs, adjectives, you have your phrases and things of that nature, uh, they roughly equate to what we're talking about here. For example, a statement is basically a sentence. An expression is a phrase, and an operator can be one of these things like nouns or verbs or a very small part of what makes up an entire statement. So just like you probably don't think of sentences that you type or whenever you speak, you don't think of them in terms of, of your English classes and using uh, phrases and participles and things of that nature. Once I teach you about operators, expressions, and statements, you won't need to think about them either. They'll just be part of what you do. But it's important as we begin software development that you understand uh, the different pieces that make up an entire what we call line of code, an executable line of code. So let's start with operators. What are operators? Well, they, they basically allow you to do different things. Like in the case of arithmetic operators, you have the ability to add and subtract, multiply, divide, cube, uh, get the modular value of, and so on for numeric values. And they're represented by the plus symbol, the minus symbol, the, uh, the little star symbol represents multiply, and so on. There's also concatenation operators so that you can add strings of text together and you can use either the plus symbol or the ampersand symbol to do that. Then there's also comparison operators and that's like your equal, your greater than, your less than, your greater or equal to, your less than or equal to, and then also you have the two brackets next to each other which means it does not equal. And then finally you have your logical operators and those are things like the and, or, and, or, and also, and or else. And I'll show you some examples of those later on in this video. So let's go on to expressions. If you take a look at
concatenation operators concatenating together the word Mr. and a space and Dirk and a space and Nowitzki and a space and a comma Esquire. And notice how I did this and made this all on one line. If I were to take away this and this, notice what happens. I get some blue squiggly lines which says syntax error, syntax error, expression expected. The underscore means that all of these statements, even though they're on separate lines, they all belong together. Now this is different than JavaScript or C Sharp, where you can put multiple, um, uh, one statement on multiple lines, and there's no continuation character per se, but what you have instead is the use of the semicolon, which you don't have in Visual Basic. That is what denotes whether something is finished, a statement is finished or not. So at any rate, that pretty much sums up our discussion of operators and expressions and statements. Um, quite frankly, I know this stuff's a little bit boring, but it's important that you understand it, uh, if for no other reason than from a theoretical standpoint. It helps you parse apart the different pieces of expression, and so when you start typing things like, um, you know, X, on a line, and you say, well, why does that have a, uh, you know, expression is not a method, and why did it put those things around it? You can start diagnosing why that's true. Well, why is it true? Because X is not a function, it's not a method, and therefore uh, it can't be by itself there. So when you start to understand those kinds of things and the structure of a line of code, uh, it helps you as you begin to write your lines of code just like it helps you to understand how to write better sentences and construct better paragraphs whenever you learn the rules of English. So I hope that this uh, lesson was beneficial, if no, not for any other reason, but from a theoretical standpoint. Thank you.